From the Blue Door in beautiful Culver City, Arts Up LA presents... What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, LA? What's up, LA? What's up, LA? What's up? What's up, LA? What's up, LA? <laughs> What's up, LA? <laughs> How are you, Nina? Happy Hispanic Heritage Month. Well, uh, thank you, my dear co-host. And today, after we're done here, I'll let you buy me tacos to celebrate. Done. Brilliant strategizing. Ah, uh, but yes, in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, I want to use this platform responsibly. I want to use this platform wisely. So I'm gonna teach you how to say what's up LA in Spanish. I like that. It's perfect to celebrate, but wait, I would have thought it'd be como esta LA. And you'd be kind of right, but that's not the most informal way to ask how someone's doing or the exact equivalent to what's up. You'd say, que mas LA or que tal LA. Gotcha, okay, let's see. Que mas LA, que tal LA, que mas LA, que tal LA, que mas LA, que tal LA, que mas LA. Look at you, <laughs> giving each one its own vibe, que mas LA. Well, yeah, you got it. It'll never cease to amaze me how great your Spanish is, and I'm gonna take full credit for all of it, okay? I'm a great influence. Hey, I do my part, but yes, you are a great influence. <laughs> okay, guys, there's a lot to talk about in October, so let's get to it. First, we're pleased to inform you that we have a date. Huh? A date? A date for the premiere of oh. Heart Song, the short film produced by Arts Up LA and Hippo Life, directed by Anthony Gillardi. Heart Song will premiere here at the Blue Door, and we'll be doing two shows on October 6th and 7th at 8 p.m. Join us for a night and a story that are all about the transformative power of the arts to heal and connect. Visit artsupla.org for tickets. They're going fast. In other news, Short and Sweet Hollywood, the biggest little festival in the world, returns to the Marilyn Monroe Theater in West Hollywood until October 30th, 2022. Short and Sweet is a 10-minute play festival that started in Sydney, Australia, and has become a global organization that showcases the work of local playwrights, directors, and actors all around the world. They even added a variety category this year, so if you go check it out, you might see more than theater. A little bit of music, a little bit of magic, a little bit of comedy, who knows? A festival that can pull off five consecutive weeks worth of theater deserves all my respect. <laughs> Truly impressive. Yep, I agree. We will leave a link for tickets in the description box below. And Brian, I understand you have even more news to share. Well, you know what else is impressive? Lester Probst. An 89-year-old Korean War vet wrote an original play titled Volunteers about sexual harassment and assault in the military. Presented by Veterans Empowerment Theater, Volunteers weaves a powerful composite of women's stories and exposes the truth about the insidious, systematic sexual harassment and abuse in the military. And this month, we are launching a Kickstarter campaign to fund the VET program, as well as this important production. We need your support to make it happen, so please visit artsupla.org for more information on how to donate. What's next, Nina? Well, Brian, and next up is Hispanic Theater, which perfectly makes sense considering the month. On October 8th and 9th, you can check out Federico Garcia Lorca's The House of Bernarda Alba at the Margot Albert Theater, produced by the Bilingual Foundation of the Arts. Bilingual Foundation of the Arts serves communities by presenting classic Spanish language drama and contemporary plays on Hispanic themes to English and Spanish speaking audiences, thereby bringing awareness of the diversity of the Hispanic culture through theater. This production is in Spanish, but super titled in English, so anyone can go see it. We will leave you with more on the House of Bernarda Alba and our conversation with actress Corina Vela. Hi, Nina. Thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure for me to be here. I'm Corina Vela, and I'm performing Adela in the play The House of Bernarda Alba, presented by Bilingual Foundation of the Arts, written by the great Federico Garcia Lorca in 1936, directed and adapted by Margarita Galvan. In the house of Bernarda Alba, we are introduced to a family of women that are mourning the death of the father. Our mother, Bernarda Alba, turns the house into something like a prison when she imposes on her five daughters to mourn and not leave the house for eight years due to a family tradition. The confinement prevents the young women to carry out their lives as they really want. In consequence, the repression 
and the fear to what other people will say starts being felt in every corner of the house. But when the next wedding of our eldest sister Angustias with the most coveted and handsome bachelor in the village, Pepe El Romano, is announced, the feelings and the internal conflicts of the rest of the daughters start coming out. They magnify with the confinement. Feelings such as envy, jealousy, anger, rivalry, and finally, betrayal. The main theme of Bernarda Alba is freedom. The confrontation between authority and the desire to be free represented my, my character, Adela, the youngest of the five sisters. I am the rebelliousness, the high-spirited woman, the one who wants to be free, the one who wants to experience life as it is. I have a very hard time submitting to my mother's desires, opposite to the rest of the sisters. The cast in the house of Bernarda Alba is formed by a great group of actresses starring Margarita Lamas in the role of Bernarda Alba, Gloria Laino as La Poncia, Rosa Rubio as La Criada, Katia Villanueva in the role of the eldest sister Angustias, followed by Wendy Gámez as Magdalena, Andrea Ramírez Martínez as Amelia, Blanca Aurora as Martirio, and myself as Adela, among other wonderful actresses that are gonna be performing with us. Our author, Federico Garcia Lorca, was considered one of the first feminists in the world because he succeeded in highlighting the repression and submission that women of that time were experiencing and unfortunately still today continue to suffer in different parts of the world. The story of the House of Bernarda Alba will undoubtedly touch deep fibers in the hearts of the public that comes to see it. Don't miss it. Call 213-437-0500 or visit bfatheater.org to get your tickets. Come and see what happens in the life of the five daughters of Bernarda Alba. All great things must come to an end, dear audience. Before we go, we're going to leave you with a little blast from the past. Our happy Halloween song, in case you didn't see it last year. Oh, yes. Some of my finest work. I have so much range. <laughs> and yes, I guess it's also cool that it helps everyone get in the spirit of the holiday. You'll see what she means shortly. We hope you have the best Halloween ever. Save us some candy. See you next month. Until then, I'm Brian Caldwell. I'm Nina Renzel. And, and that's, that's What's Up. ¿Qué tal, L.A.? ¿Qué más, L.A.? ¿Qué tal? It's the most terrifying night of the year. Halloween, Halloween, happy, happy Halloween. Scary things fill you with fear. Halloween, Halloween, happy, happy Halloween. It's the night when ghouls come out. Makes me want to scream and shout. But if you can say trick or treat, you get something sweet to eat. It's moon and ghosts say boo. Halloween, Halloween, happy, happy Halloween. Monsters, witches, skeletons too. Halloween, Halloween, happy, happy Halloween. So wear a hat or wear a mask. Face those ghouls and scare them back. And if you just say trick or treat, you'll get something sweet to eat.